Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. This 2012 Ford F-150 was towed in as the customer says the truck keeps shutting off on him while driving on the highway. The customer said he fixed some wiring at some point in the past, but did a pretty poor job at doing so. The technician also found some broken wires that went to the fuel pump control module, which caused the customer's concern. And this customer brought in their BMW as they hear a grinding noise while braking. The customer had just installed new brake pads and never bothered replacing the very rusted brake rotors. Customer states they hear a grinding noise while driving. The last time this vehicle came in, the shop told the customer they have a leak and pinion seal on the front differential, but the customer declined repairs. Since the customer did not get the seal replaced, all of the gear oil leaked out over time, which caused the differential to overheat and crack the differential case. Once again, the customer declined repairs and had the car towed away. Customer states they replaced the alternator three times, but the truck still doesn't charge. This F-350 has a propane mixer as it runs on propane, which is located right above the alternator. The mechanic found the fuse to be blown for the alternator circuit, as a propane mixer would touch the positive terminal on the alternator, then ground out on the hood. The customer didn't want anything repaired besides a new fuse installed and something installed to cover the positive terminal on the alternator. And this customer's vehicle was towed in as he said he wanted a new oil pan installed. It turns out that the customer had tried doing the job himself, but could not figure it out and even tried drilling holes in the oil pan to remove it. When this customer brought in their vehicle for a rear suspension concern, the mechanic also noticed that the customer had tied the splash shields to the lower control arm, sway bar, and tie rods. And this customer had their SUV towed in as they hit a curb and popped a tire. In doing so, the customer had bent the subframe and brake caliper mount, but had also mounted the spare tire backwards. So the rotor is free. I can move it around. It's just falling down. Spare. The big flash fly line. A customer just bought this Ford E350 and insisted that it was four-wheel drive. He thought it was four-wheel drive as the center caps looked like the lock and hubs that you would see on certain four-wheel drive models. This Range Rover was only brought in for a fuel leak. The mechanic also found that a center support bearing for the two-piece drive shaft was completely worn out, which caused the drive shaft to smash against the fuel tank over time. The customer also didn't mention anything about this noise. Is this legal for installation of a harness? That one over there is twisted around and attached at the stock location, and this one goes down to the seat bolt, it looks like. Customer states they changed the transmission pan, but it still leaks. The technician did not get to keep the vice grips, as the customer declined repairs once the shop told him he most likely needs a new pan and gasket. I hope you enjoyed this video and please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.